All right, what's up? My name is Will. This is the first video in a series of videos explaining what SEO is, how to do it for your website, and giving you some perspective from a professional SEO. So hopefully you can incorporate some of these elements into your business and get some value out of it. So this first video, we're gonna be talking about what is SEO uh, from a high level. It's extremely difficult to explain what SEO is uh, in detail in one video. We're gonna be breaking this out into multiple parts over different topics, but uh, I just wanted to start off with this one because I think to understand what SEO is, uh, why it's important, why I think it's one of the best marketing channels for your business and local businesses specifically, and uh, giving you just a brief snippet on, on how to go about doing it, I think this is a great place to start for the rest of the series. So uh, just a quick note, I, I don't have time to edit all these videos, so we're gonna be using a lot of memes and, and this whiteboard to do a lot of the explaining here. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, this is the first video, what is SEO, okay? And uh, you can tell by the meme here, it's extremely difficult to explain all the intricacies of what SEO is. Just to start off, there are obviously different types of SEO. There's different components. There's on-page, there's off-page SEO, there's technical SEO, and then there's different specialties of SEO. People who specialize in just uh, different types of facets of, uh, of, of business. So there's enterprise, uh, enter enterprise, enterprise SEO, there's e-commerce SEO, and then there's local SEO. And then there's uh, other forms of SEO that's probably even more advanced, right? Uh, but what I try to do is I try to think of this and explain it in a way that makes sense to a lot of people. And what I came up with is this, what is SEO? It's the effort of convincing search engines that you're the best result for a given query, for a given search, all right? Um, so let's just try to take a step back and, and understand what the goal of search engines are, all right? If you're Google, if you're Bing, if you're DuckDuckGo, uh, if you're Amazon, YouTube, Wayfair, Pinterest, any platform that has a search bar, has search results, and, and, and where search is a major function of their, of their product, your number one goal is to provide the best possible results for your users. That way they come back and they search more, right? Uh, so how do you determine that? And that is what search engine optimization is. You understand what the weighted factors of any search uh, platforms are, and then you optimize for those, for those factors. So if you've done a search on Amazon recently, Amazon takes into consideration heavily the rating, right? Uh, the, the five star rating and the n number of re reviews that, that any product has. You might have also realized why there's so many sometimes made up reviews on a lot of products because that's how they get to the top of search. If you've done a search on Facebook, their weighted factors are mostly engagement, right? If, they, if there's a post with a lot of likes, shares, comments, it's gonna rank very highly. So uh, then you ask, okay, what are the weighted factors for Google? And uh, that's when it gets a little bit complicated. And there's a lot of weighted factors to Google. Now with the introduction of AI, there's been tons of updates, um, but we'll get to those in later videos. And I'm very excited to share. Uh, again, I'm just trying to simplify this down so everybody can understand it. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to share those things with you. But before we get there, I want to just think about why, why SEO is important and why I think SEO is the best marketing channel for any business. It could be e-commerce, it could be uh, enterprise, it could also be local, local service businesses and local service businesses in particular really benefit from SEO uh, because of this, all right? There's 8.5 billion searches per day on Google. People are not just coming across your brand or your product, they're actually searching for it. It's inbound marketing and it's quote unquote free traffic versus paid, okay? So I'm gonna go into a little bit more about this, but I want you to kind of imagine this, for example. I, I, um, 
let's say you're looking for a plumber near you. I'm looking for a plumber in New York City. Um, when I'm searching for a plumber in New York City, I'm looking for a specific solution to my problem. I might have a busted toilet, uh, my sink's not working. I need a s solution to that problem quickly. I might have done other preliminary searches before this. I might have done how to fix a toilet, how to fix a sink on YouTube, try to get some guide and information to do it myself. But if I'm searching plumbers near me, I'm looking for your services. And that's why Google search is so powerful. It's capturing a lot of highly converting, highly qualified leads for your business rather than people met that might just be perusing, right? So like compare this to social media, like Facebook ads and Instagram ads. They're both digital marketing channels, but the reason why, again, search is so much more powerful is because it's high intent. Social media ads, there's nothing wrong with social media ads. If they're done right, they can be very effective. But for local service businesses, people are on social media, watching videos, looking at cat videos, memes, whatever the case is, they're not looking for a plumber. And that's why search engine marketing, SEM, and SEO in particular is really powerful for your business. Now, uh, just tech, talking generally and on a high level, let's say you run uh, an e-commerce brand. SEO is also extremely important, as you can guess, because if people are searching for your product, uh, that you wanna be able to show up. But more than that, if you're capitalizing on search intent, again, all 8.5 billion searches are not bottom of the funnel searches. Uh, they are sometimes informational query, most of the time informational queries. So if you're a brand or an e-commerce brand in this case, and you're writing about everything related to your industry, as that customer goes further on down the journey and, and is getting more and more ready to buy, because they've seen your brand over and over again, providing this information and value for them, they'll know, like, and trust you even more so to make that conversion even easier when they are ready to buy. Um, so this is just, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of SEO. I've built businesses, legitimate businesses on the backs of SEO, only SEO. Uh, I, I'm speaking from experience. So it's, it's a legitimate marketing channel and probably one of the strongest marketing channels uh, that you can really invest in because of this, because of this fact, because of, uh, of the intent, the high intent searches uh, that are leading people to your to your products and services. Um, again, when, and, and when I I'm gonna do the next video on on free traffic versus paid, so SEO traffic versus PPC traffic, what the benefits and the pros and cons of both are, but. It, if you invest in SEO and you're getting into the top three results of, let's say, plumbers near me, which is a highly competitive keyword, it's extremely difficult, but you can understand why it's highly profitable. If you can get into the top three, you're getting these leads uh, without having to pay for them. You invest in this strategy and it, it is a long-term strategy a medium to long-term strategy. If you invest in this for your business, it's an asset that pays returns uh, later on down the road for the foreseeable future. Uh, again, you know, uh, it's th there's nuances between the two, so we'll get into that in the next video, but that's something that I want you to understand uh, in, in the overall topic of what SEO is and why it's important. And now that we've answered those two questions, I think uh, the next question would be how? How do we, how do we do this? How do we do SEO? Well, again, I want you to put yourself in the shoes of Google and uh, I want you to just take a step back and think how, as Google, how would I serve the best results for my users, for my customers? And that's really to uh, mitigate your risk and just present businesses that are legitimate businesses that have a standing reputation that you know are professionals, that you don't want to be serving uh, shady businesses that have uh, no track record, no experience, uh, because it might just be a, a, a bad provider, a bad service provider. So you want to you want to serve up the best possible results by serving legitimate businesses to your users. The the results that you know uh, through experience are, are are doing good work, right? 
And to be a legitimate business, you need to do all the things. And I want you to remember this, do all the things, uh, because you, you'll, you know, we'll, we'll come to realize, I think, you know what? I think a good thing to do here is uh, SEO essentially is a giant checklist. Okay. And the more things that you can cross off that checklist, the more optimized you're going to be for search. And I just thought of that. I think that's a great, uh, way to frame this and a great kind of segue into the following videos that I'm going to come up with. But again, just to recap, essentially SEO in a nutshell is just convincing search engines that you're the best result for a given query. Why we want to do this is because it's a huge form of marketing, uh, uh, one of the best forms of marketing that you can invest in for your business long term. And to do this is to be a legitimate business and do all the things, which is a giant checklist that you just need to go through and make sure that you're doing for your website and for your business. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about uh, free traffic versus paid PPC versus SEO, what the differences are, what the pros and cons of both are. And, uh, yeah, I hope you tune in for that one and, uh, thank you for watching.